Hello everyone. So my friend Sophia, who runs a restaurant on Lansdowne Avenue, she recently with her brother installed a LCD TV and they've been having issues picking up signal. Today is a, a, a day when a football game is playing and so she was hoping she could have the football game being shown, but she can't get any, any signal for it. So we're going to be spending the next half hour building a TV antenna as quickly as possible. And I've been building a lot of these lately. So here's how I do it. Now, first of all, I look up a website called tvfool.com. I haven't looked for a newer one yet, but this one's a little bit outdated. I think the last time they updated was like 2018 or something. And it does show because the wavelength channels have been scrunched down quite a bit. If we look at the Pan American television frequencies, when we scroll down, we can see, well, 70 to 83, those got, got rid of a long time ago, and then 69 to 52 got rid of a long time ago, and now 51 to 37 are gone. So some of these channels, I believe channel 29 is the one that we want. It shows it as channel 42, but channel 42 doesn't exist anymore. So with this, the map still does work really well for reception, but not so much for the channels. So I believe the game is on channel 29 Fox, which would be really easy to get. They must have switched their um, channel because we have the virtual channel and then we have the actual UHF channel to where if you took an old television, that's the one that only does VHF, if you took an old television and how about that one? And switched it to channel 42, you would have seen some rippling. That was the di digital signal. So I'm going to look up WTXF TV on Wikipedia, and it is now on digital 31, virtual 29. So let's look at channel 31, 573 megahertz. Now, if I wanted to just focus on that one, that'd be fine. But what I'm actually going to do is I think I'm going to go up a little bit and go 537 megahertz because the antenna should get in a nice band and that'd be a little bit. Well, also the lower in frequency you go, the bigger the antenna, antenna gets. So we can always snip off an inch on either side. Now, so we have 537 megahertz that we've settled on and I'm going to go to a frequency wavelength, wavelength calculator. And we have 537 megahertz. I have it set to inches because I have a lot of inch tape measures. And that's about 22 inches. So for a full wave dipole antenna, we need a piece of wood that we can put at least 44 inches on. We need a wire, which we have a piece of solid core copper wire, which I think should work fine. Then we have this coaxial cable which you see I've already made into an antenna once before. I've soldered to it, but we don't need as much cable, so I'll snip it. Now how the TV is set, I'm just gonna have it, the antenna sitting right above the television, so we can just cut this pretty short. And this is just a regular coaxial cable. And fortunately, this is a pretty cheap one. I, know, I found out with this one that it's so cheap that if you try to split it and pull it out, you can actually pull out the wire from the whole thing. It's, it, there's nothing really holding it together. Then for this, let's see. Now this is a situation where it would be really nice to have staples. I don't have any staples though. These two sides. Let's make sure that's nice and straight. It doesn't have to be straight. It's nice for it to be straight. So now I have our two wires cut and we're going to bring out the two leads on here. So I'm going to take off the outer insulation. Uh, 
Oh. This has so few wires in it. Ugh, okay. Oh. Okay, so I have to cut it lengthwise. This is some cheap cable. Gosh. Yeah, there should be like twice as many wires or even more on there. Look at that. And not all of them are even connected. Well, it'll do, but what? Okay. In short, this will go to the one wire and the wire that's in here will go to the other one. So now we're gonna take those two wires, solder an extension onto here and solder an extension onto there. And that way, as the radio frequencies pass along those two wires, there'll be a big difference between the outer sheath and the inner wire, and the, and the TV can best pick up the signal across them. Just to make this really, really quick, I have a bit of flux, plumbing flux. Gonna put that on there. Then, In a case like this, it'd be really nice to be able to have some 3D printed clips. Something that I can screw in, but it'll hold the, uh, the wire, almost like a knob from knob and two wiring. Well, I happen to have some of these little plastic garment washer things. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a nail, I'm just making it so this will hug the plastic wire. So what we end up with is this. It just has a bit of a, a bit of a um, indentation that this will grip the wire. Now we need something for this. Made a little bracket out of some brass. Something that I just had laying around. Oh, I wasn't even recording. I put it on. Well, anyway, there we have it. Now to test it out. Thirty-seven is pretty good for such a compact antenna. I had a that same cable was connected to like a six-foot-long antenna, and that did a whole bunch.
Good, we got 29. Not very well, though. Okay, let's see. Do we get the football game? Because that's, that's what she wants. Ah, the antenna must be that way because... Or the transmitter must be that way because if I turn it the other way, it gets a little bit jerky. If I turn it this way, signal strength improves a lot. Now, if we ran into issues with this antenna not being tuned correctly, what we could do is we could snip off like an inch on either side, and that would shift the, the frequency that this best receives up a bit. But some of the other channels that are a little bit lower, those are really good too. You don't want to just focus on the, the upper end. We won't get any of the lower channels, such as UHF or uh, VHF-6 or anything, but we will get the higher ones. Oh yeah, so so this is the uh, the game. So she should be pretty happy with this. Let's go to the restaurant and install it. I'm recording new audio for this because, well, the, the restaurant has copyrighted music playing and I'll throw in some random Final Fantasy music. So Sophia and her brother installed this TV uh, around the start of uh, winter. And they had a little VHF antenna on it for a little while, but I think her brother had to take that back to wherever they borrowed that from. It only got like three channels and it, it kept cutting out. And I made a modification with a little wire and it didn't get any, any video. I did a quick little channel scan just to see, does the TV by itself get anything? But no. And so I just took the antenna up there, just wrapped it above a wire and then installed the coax. And that's pretty much it. Since this is at the top of a very tall roof, a ceiling it's like 18 feet up that's actually better than in my workshop so we got about 40 channels and it ended up working out pretty well they were able to get the game playing nobody really came for the game but you know she's trying to get more just different customers in and um yeah so that kind of works out but yeah that was a 30 minute build 40 minute build something like that hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching see ya